back to the independent investor channel. We're going to kick you into my Vanguard's uh, sector specialty ETF. It's a passive uh, portfolio that has been um, uh, subject to the volatility just like everybody else, but it's been holding in like I I incredible. It is a defensive mechanism, and I think you guys are going to appreciate uh, me sharing this uh, tutorial with you guys. So without further ado, we'll jump in. We'll take a look at the portfolio progress and the M1 Vanguard sector specialty ETF portfolio. And the greatest gift I can give investors out there, especially new investors uh, to the opportunity is understanding how many different ways out there you can uh, build wealth and uh, a lot of positive ways. Uh, there's, you know, always risk that's involved with investing and that's fine. But a couple of uh, key attributes to any new investor that starts investing is what account uh, are you looking to start with um, and what are the products that you put in that account? Uh, those are the really the two keys that trip a lot of people up and they, they don't know where to start. They don't know what account to start. And what I'm showcasing here for you guys is something that I've showcased through the history of the channel. Um, I've had this account since March 5th of 2019, so just over three years here on this opportunity with M1 Finance. And it's not to be overstated how important um, these videos are to people to understand, even in volatile markets, um, how portfolios like this can really stand up to the volatility and provide a defensive mechanism for those new investors out there that just want to get started they want to start wealth building for themselves and this is a great representative of a portfolio that it's built with uh, diversification and the use of low-cost etfs to provide that diversification and, and just to give you an idea of how it uh, performs uh, during volatile markets. So you guys are are checking out M1 Finance. If you're new to M1 Finance, the portfolio that I'm going to share with you guys is provided in the description below. Um, the Independent Investor Channel uh, is affiliated with M1 Finance. They're one of the very few uh, brokers that I actually endorse through the channel and I have since the very beginning. Um, I actively use uh, M1 Finance. This account is my personal account uh, and I give it away freely. Uh, just know that if you do click on the links, I can I receive a small piece of compensation for providing this direct access to not only M1 Finance, but to uh, my specific portfolio. Uh, you want to make sure that this fits inside your portfolio as well. I roll these out for, for information uh, so you guys can check out the aesthetics of uh, what M1 Finance brings to bear. Um, just a couple of notes here for your interest. These uh, portfolios were built with a very, very passive uh, type of perspective. In other words, if you're looking for a trading platform, M1 Finance is not going to work for you. M1 Finance is, ma is made to invest and, and leave it alone. Uh, I do not hit the sell button in M1 Finance. I fund this over time. Uh, I allow the market to work over time. This particular portfolio has not been touched in three years. It has been preserved, uh, it has been contributed to, and it has not been liquidated one single time uh, over the course of having it. And the gains speak for themselves here. Market gains of just uh, shy of 3600 We have earned some uh, dividends here. They were started out pretty slow. <laughs> I got a few pennies to start. And now they've turned into something uh, something special here with just uh, shy of 22,000 in the account. We've obviously rolled off a little bit here with the market volatility, uh, but still significantly up over time over the three short years that we've had this account. So I just want to earmark that for you guys. The best way to invest in M1 Finance is if you're interested in taking a passive approach to the market, it takes zero time once this is established and it takes zero monitoring uh, of the account or zero manipulation or management. You can monitor it all you want. Um, I monitor these accounts on a weekly basis just to see the progress, just to see how each of the sectors, and for you guys that don't know, this is split up in the uh, 11 sectors of the S&P 500. And a sector is just a segment of interest uh, for you new investors out there that understand that technology is a sector, healthcare is a sector, financials is a sector. And each of these products are available uh, through Vanguard that basically allows you to buy that sector 
across the board, small caps, mid caps, and large caps alike, uh, and buy it in one specific product. So this is Vanguard's technology, and within this ETF, you're going to own basically the entire sector uh, as Vanguard has constructed the product. Now, something important to note here is cumulatively, these carry with it a very, very low expense ratio. This runs at about about a tenth of a percent, so 0.1, uh, 0.1 on some of these, 0.09 on others, and I think as low as 0 0.08, so very, very anemic on the fee structure, which is almost negligible uh, when we look at my strategic goal of lowering fees within an investments accounts. But um, this is how it's performed. And, you know, for a lot of people who are talking about the volatility in the stock market, I think it's important to note here, and I will highlight energy, which has just jumped up I incredibly. I mean, we're up over 100% here in, in energy. Uh, and I, I established this portfolio to benefit from sector rotation. And we can't have sector rotation without me benefiting from that. Uh, obviously, if I'm in the sector that's being rotated out of, obviously that sector will suffer a little bit, but those funds have to go somewhere. And I've ensured that I own all of the sectors. I don't omit any. So if there is going to be a sector like energy to benefit from the inflows now, I will benefit from that. And I think it's very important to note that I've contended in this portfolio that it's probably in the investor's best interest to just own all the sectors and not just say, look, I, I, I think I just want to own technology, healthcare, and financials and omit some of the lesser known sectors like utilities and especially materials um, and, and the like here. I own them all. Uh, now, uh, you can put an emphasis on how large of an allocation you put to each of the sectors. In other words, I don't own this equal weight. What that means is here on the bottom with telecommunications, I only own this at 6%, and I'm actually underweight a little bit with my target allocation. Uh, right now, the actual holdings shake out at about 5.5%. So, um, that is the actual as compared to the target. With technology rolling off here a little bit, um, it, it's actually brought my uh, actual allocation to 13%, where my target is 14 And it's important to note for new investors what that could mean is that new funds that flow in here are always going to go in here to fund the underweight sector. So where energy here has outperformed and my actual is over my target of 7%, new funds will not come in here because the market has uh, provided me some benefit to being invested in this. But new funds are not going to go toward an overweight sector, rather flow into these underweight sectors here. Um, and that always ensures that I'm buying the market at a dip. Where three years ago, energy was the underweight sector in this portfolio, I was buying energy heavy. And now you see the benefit of actually buying energy when it was so low and there was nobody out there talking about how important it was to accumulate energy at that time. M1 Finance ensured that all the new fundings that came into this portfolio always flowed into the underweight sector. And right now, technology is somewhat unloved. So new fundings as it flows in here are flowing to the underweight sector. The last thing I'll mention with regard to this portfolio, this can really be great for those new investors out there that don't have a lot of time to spend monitoring single stocks. It can be conducive to those investors that understand the importance of dollar cost averaging over time. You can start this account with as little as $500. I think anything less than that would be somewhat futile. But for those investors that are serious about getting started, $500 is a great starting amount. Um, I started this account down here with, I think, $1,500. It's built up to something special in three years. So for those 18-year-olds out there, wouldn't it be nice to have $22,000 worth of wealth built up by the time you're 22 years old? You're off and running. The rule of 72 would suggest that you're going to double your money at a 7 to 8% rate of return uh, around every seven years. Uh, you do the math. I mean, this is really how wealth is built. It allows you to fund it. It allows you to enjoy diversification so you don't have to stress out about the volatility that the market can dole out. 
and M1 Finance really does, does deliver uh, on that front to those investors that are interested in becoming an investor in st the stock market to hold assets as a young person into their future and fund those assets over time. There is no better account out there than M1 Finance that I have found uh, on the marketplace. And I know it gives it would be investors the best chance of becoming an investor and growing wealth over time the responsible way and the way that it should be over time. Guys, I appreciate you tuning into this. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. So we've come out of the Vanguard specialty ETF portfolio. This is comprised of the 11 sectors, the S&P 500 using the Vanguard's uh, sector uh, ETFs. Wonderful product, very low expense. It's a great way to invest passively in the market. Uh, no stress. Uh, anybody can do this. It's scalable to the masses. And for everybody talking about the volatility in the markets now, uh, I thought it timely to do this review for you guys and present maybe a, a different uh, avenue or a different angle and a different strategy to approach and buffer the volatility that's going on and the noise right now of maybe potentially entering into an eventual recession. I, I could care less. I'm going to continue to buy the markets using the power of M1 Finance and the capacity that I've demonstrated for you uh, in the course of this video and this tutorial on this portfolio, how it's held up in the face of adversity uh, in volatile markets. Guys, if you appreciate the message, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. We roll out a lot of content like this, beginning investor 101 material to scale to the masses. Uh, our young people need to have this uh, understanding um, that it's not all doom and gloom. There are options out there for investors to set it and forget it and make money over the long term. It's just that simple. We need to blow down barriers uh, to entry for all investors out there that know that they can start in the market with as little as 500 bucks and start on their path to empowering their financial future. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Share the message with anybody out there looking to get started uh, in the stock market. Uh, bring them onto the channel. I provide uh, uh, an incredible opportunity to sit across from an investor like myself with 25 plus years of experience to provide a tutorial and an introduction to an account like M1 Finance and many others. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this opportunity and good luck in your investment future.